Well, the pop, boom and sizzle from the fireworks can be exciting for us, Reba, when we are ringing in the new year, but for your dog, not so much. And we spoke with one family who knows that all too well. Brody. <whistles> Precious moments with her pup Brody that Corinne Lewis and her friend April Harshman oh, Brody. feared they'd never have again. We have a dog door. He's pretty much got free range. Like he comes and goes like whenever. He, he stays in the yard most of the time, but New Year's Eve was different. Lewis says Brody's always been a little skittish when it comes to fireworks. But usually he would just crawl up under something and like shiver. But this year, during the thick of it, that's a good boy. The entire family was away. Dad said he got home and he was nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found New Year's night or the next day either. Uh, last night, we felt just like helpless. After searching day and night, the family made this post on Facebook. We had over like a thousand shares all together, so we felt like we had actually people oh, looking for him. Too. <laughs> but still, no Brody. Until just before 7 a.m. Thursday morning. I was asleep and my dad screeched and I woke up. And I came out to Bro Bro. <laughs> In through the doggy door, a little nervous and a little dirty. He was like covered in soot, just like head to toe. You couldn't even tell it was him but happy to be home. <coughs> Christy Chips Peters with Richmond Animal Care and Controls says they see more runaways this time of year due to fireworks. She says the best thing you can do for your pet is have a way to find them. Microchipping is a foolproof way to prove ownership and to make sure that we can identify your pet as yours and get them back to you. Lewis says they plan to be more cautious in the future so that they'll have plenty more of these precious moments. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, the best thing that you can do, according to Peters, is micro -trip chip your dog. That way it cannot get lost or stolen like a caller can. If you have lost your dog, Peters says you can go onto their website. That's Richmond Animal Care and Control, where you will find a link to the lost and found site.